the footage is finally out aew actually did it they showcased the backstage fight i'm going to show it to you guys in just a second um quite honestly i don't know if this actually makes cm punk look as bad as i thought it would if anything i would go as far as saying that maybe it even makes cm punk look good um because of the way the because of the way that cm punk described it in his interview and then the way it transcended on tv they i mean I'll show it to you guys, um, but I do want to give some props to AEW here. Honestly, um, I was kind of curious as to how they were going to position this on television, and it did, you know, they're making it kayfabe, right? So the Young Bucks are sitting there talking about how they had that match with the Young Bucks, uh, between the Young Bucks and FTR at All In, and they were off their A game because that night they were dealing with an incident. Now, one of the Jackson brothers actually goes on to say uh, that he believes FTR did this intentionally um, because, you know, him and C them and CM Punk are friends. And they're again, they're trying to turn it into like a little storyline to position the fourth match that they have at Dynasty. Um, and that's cool. Whatever. I actually thought it was kind of a logical, fun way to, to implement the story behind it, um, because at the end of the day, this is a ratings grab for AEW. And Tony Khan has been very adamant about saying that. Um, but if you take a look here. It's funny because for the first 40 seconds, you could just take a look. CM Punk confronts Jack Perry. They're talking. At some point, Jack Perry says something. CM Punk strikes at him, goes for a choke, gets broken up. And I mean, at this stage of the game, you see Tony Khan on the right side. Uh, CM Punk is being held back. Probably Chris Hero and Jerry Lynn. Punk confronts Tony Khan and they just pull him back. Um, that's it. It, it, you know, the, the thing here is I didn't see him throw a punch at Tony Khan. I didn't see Tony Khan in physical, uh, in any sort of physical activity with Punk. Like, it didn't look like Punk was throwing hands on him or whatever. Um, I didn't see CM Punk pick up a computer monitor and toss it at him. I didn't see any of that. Um, and it got broken up relatively quickly. Um, I don't know what to really think of this. I, I think it is so funny the fact that even people were people are gassing this up and i and I, I really think what people need to do truth be told is just shut the hell up when it comes to these reports because i've seen so many times in the last few years mixed reporting and there was a lot of different stories of how this fight went down and i feel like the reports were a thousand times worse it seems like the reports that were being out there the narratives I thought those would make this backstage fight seem like the most insane, intense thing in the world. But then you watch it and it's like a little, it's like a locker room. Uh, you know, it's like a lock, a high school locker room where guys just kind of get into it. it. Like there was really nothing to it. Um, if anything, I actually think the people who look the worst here is the people who reported on this with their own narratives and spins. Because I think a lot of people were really slandering punk here. And... I think the reports on both sides just put gasoline on this fire for no reason, truth be told. I really do genuinely believe that. And when I see CM Punk doing his thing in WWE, in WWE and I see what AEW is doing right now in 2024, the fact that this is even being discussed is truly just funny to me. It really is. I feel like AEW has been having a pretty damn good year in terms of creative. And I understand it's subjective. Not everybody's going to agree with me. But for the most part, I feel like it's been a very solid year for them. So focus on that. Why are you focusing on this? Again, I got to give them props because they are trying to turn this situation and like utilize it from a storyline perspective. Um, but none of that truly matters because Tony Khan has already publicly talked about how this is a thing for them to get ratings and and to get people to tune in and they're not necessarily shying away from that but i i think the most important thing here is to understand that them showcasing this footage i don't think it makes people interested more in aew i don't think it helps aew grow i don't think it helps aew in the slightest to be honest with you i i think there's more bad than good in this situation and for those who are fans of CM Punk, I already know those guys, those fans will automatically look at this as a great thing for CM Punk. So I just feel like all of this was really dumb. I don't know if it kills AEW. I don't think that's a fair assessment, but I just think it's stupidity. You know, CM Punk's not in the company. Now, 
bro, if CM Punk was in the company, holy shit, you could make a lot of money off of this. But CM Punk is in the WWE. I, I, I'm, I think I'm just more at the point of, I can't wait to see what Drew McIntyre says on Raw. Because that right there is really the, the money, the sweet spot. WWE is probably going to make more money off of this than AEW, realistically. And that's really strange because it's not even a storyline. Um, I think the real, the real thing that you need to know, the effects of this episode, you know, people are going to narr- they're going to have their own narratives with the ratings for today and then next week and stuff like that. But if you want to know whether or not AEW turns this segment into anything that makes them money or generates interest in their company, I don't believe we'll find out at least for a couple of months. At least for a couple of months. Um, But I do think it is absolutely insane that they put it out there. They actually put it out there. And, and, And quite frankly, I... I don't know, it's just a weird situation for AEW. And, and if I was Tony Khan, and this is just my opinion, I'm not saying it's the right opinion, I'm not saying it's the wrong opinion, but if I was Tony Khan and I have all this great content and I got Osprey and Okada and Mercedes in the same month, if I was Tony Khan, I'd be focusing on putting out the best possible product. I'd shut up all of my haters by putting out the best weekly television show I wouldn't be focusing on what WWE is saying. I wouldn't focus on Pat McAfee taking shots. I wouldn't be focusing on CM Punk making comments. I would focus on my television show because ultimately at the end of the day, that's what people care about more. And I feel like this was the wrong idea. If you like it, cool. If you hate it, cool. If you're talking about it, that's what they wanted. So at least in that perspective, they did win in some realities. But is there any benefit to it? No, I don't think so. But it's pretty cool that they at least try to turn a storyline or try to like use this to justify their loss against FTR. I thought that was a nice little spin on it because it did give at least some sort of purpose to it. But uh, just overall, in general, funny, funny stuff. And um You know, I'm hoping for AEW to just get through this type of stuff without having to reference it and talk about it, but maybe that's a little too much to ask for. I don't know. Um, Surely the comment section after this is going to be quite entertaining to read. So if you have an opinion on this, go ahead and just drop it. And um, hey, if you're not in my Discord server, you should probably join because, well, we have an awesome community there. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you for stopping by. Make sure you click subscribe.